This is my buddy, Kieran. He's one of the best blue belts I've ever rolled with. I still gave him the old blue belt smash, but he really impressed me with both his skill and his physicality. Just another day doing what I do, beating up blue belts on YouTube. Let's look at Kieran's mistakes and how he can improve going forward. Kieran dives into my half guard. I wall him into a false sense of security by letting him take an underhook. But because I was controlling his far arm, I was able to time it so as he takes the underhook, I shoot my leg over his far shoulder. Here's another angle from later in the roll where we're in the exact same position. Because I had control of his far arm, it was risky for him to overextend by taking the underhook as this provides me with the one arm in and one arm out needed for a triangle. Before I lock it up, I grab my shin to control his posture so he can't posture out of it and place my foot on his hip so he can't stack me. Posturing and stacking are the two primary ways to defend triangles. He's framing well against me with his right arm, which makes locking up the triangle difficult for me. I try to use my right arm to hook onto his arm or his leg to create an angle, which would make it easier for me to lock up. I'm unable to find a suitable grip, so I figure I'll just lock it up anyways, even though it'll be difficult to do so. I don't normally grab my foot unless I'm having trouble locking it up as the shin provides better posture control. I still don't have it locked in perfect as my right ankle isn't deep in the crook of my left knee, so I try to use my fist to cut off the blood flow but I can't quite get it perfect. I can't get it, so now I try to force his elbow to the side. If I can get his right elbow on my right hip, locking it up will be way easier. But Kieran makes the mistake of giving me access to his left leg. Now I can underhook it and take an angle. Notice how close I keep my left arm to his head while grabbing my shin. This helps push the head, which pushes his neck more into my hamstring. It was super tight and Kieran should have probably tapped earlier as he needs to take a second as blood rushes back to his brain. I'm really excited to roll with Kieran as he progresses. He's been training 3 years compared to my 11 years. I'm looking forward to seeing how our rolls go when he gets his purple, brown, and then his black belt. I won't be able to kick his ass forever and I'm here for it. What's the definition of insanity? Doing something over and over and expecting different results. Kieran jumps back into my half guard taking an underhook as I again control his far arm. It's fine to give up underhooks in half guard as long as you prevent head control and stay on your side. Watch my left leg insert a butterfly hook. I get a little lazy right now and fall to my back for a second. Then I remember I gotta put on a show so I take an overhook and get on my side and lift him with my butterfly hook. I opt for more of a scissor sweep style finish as I felt I couldn't quite lift him high enough with my butterfly hook. In this gi roll you can see another angle where I try to hit the scissor sweep style finish but I go back to the traditional butterfly sweep by pushing off the mat with the bottom foot. I actually covered this in one of my YouTube shorts. Let's watch it quick. Here's why your butterfly sweep isn't working. It's because you're trying to do a leg extension like this. It's not gonna work. You need to push off the mat to generate the code. So instead of trying to just lift with their feet, it's not gonna go anywhere. You need to push off the mat with this foot. So we lift, push, and get the sweep. But again, I couldn't quite get that, so I swiped the leg instead. As I land on top, my overhook is going to hinder me more than it'll help me, so I frame with my head and place my foot on the mat so I can safely take it out. If I didn't do either, Kieran may be able to use his underhook for offense. Once I pop up to my feet, I'm now in headquarters. I've been really liking this low posture version of headquarters, where I keep my chest low and frame with my head against the chin. Judging by the look on his face, I think Kieran really likes it too. I tried to swim in an underhook but can't, so instead I do a hip switch to clear the inside leg. Here's another example of a hip switch. Kieran still has his shin in the way, which is a frame, so I simply move it out of the way. However, I don't have upper body grip, so I can't quite control Kieran yet, and he's able to turn into me and take an underhook. But where the head goes, the body must follow. Kieran had a bit of a rib injury going into this roll, so when I go to mount, I'm careful not to put too much pressure on him, and he now escapes with a kipping escape. Here's a better angle from another roll of what he did. Kieran tries to do something to my arm, but I'm not really worried about it. I pop up to my feet and into headquarters, and I clear the legs immediately with a leg drag. He re-establishes connection with his feet, so I perform another leg drag. As Kieran turns away, his back is exposed, which is a natural consequence and risk of turtling. You may recognize this type of back take from the latest unfortunate news that hit the jiu-jitsu world. Notice how when I do it, it's slow and controlled. I force his head to bend the correct way. I don't think that there was any ill intent with the incident that happened, but I do think the move could have been done with more caution. Anyways, I lose chest to back connection, which is fine because I transition to the truck instead, which is a lower body only version of back control. But Kieran doesn't want to get twisted, so he heads back to turtle. I follow him back up and gain chest to back connection, which is needed for the back. 
The mistake that Kieran makes is not staying tight with his left elbow. He first allows me to take an underhook and then allows me to insert my left hook. He should have stayed tight to prevent both. He should have had the discipline to not allow me to grip. Now I have his back and he's doing a pretty good job of controlling my grips. I put on a body triangle but stay low on the hips and don't squeeze to spare his ribs. As I break Kieran's grip on my hand, that's when I shoot my choking arm deep. Now I lock it up and notice how I bring my elbows to the side as if I'm trying to bring my right elbow behind him. This is the modern way to finish a rear naked choke. It works similar to a bow and arrow choke in the gi. When you get your elbow behind them with a collar grip, that's when you have it in the bag. Bringing your elbow to the side as if you're trying to bring it behind the back makes it way tighter than just squeezing your elbows together. The traditional way we're just bringing our elbows together like this and it can work, but what's better is rotating your elbow behind them. So what we want to do is rotate this way. This is a weak movement. If we bring our elbow to the side here, it's what, it closes the space, it's way more powerful. I've got some exciting news for you guys. I'm going to do a podcast with X-Marshall soon, and we would love if you can send in some questions which you'd like to see me answer. Follow the link below to their 1% Club forum, get involved with the community, and leave us topics to discuss. X-Marshall is a growing combat sports brand dedicated to supporting the jiu-jitsu community by sponsoring kids, athletes, and creators like myself. Their goal is to create a fun training environment for all through unique and exciting designs that reflect your personality and promote the fun gym culture that we all love. Use code JORDAN10 for 10% off your order and remember to leave us some questions on the forum. Kieran has taken a smart approach this time trying to stay out of my half guard, but old habits die hard and he just can't help himself. I try to pull him across my body and enter into X guard, but I had the overhook and it made no sense for me to try it. I remember thinking that this probably isn't going to work, but I went for it anyways. All good and I get back on track by snatching up his neck for the front headlock. I can't quite get the grips that I need to choke him, so I opt for the back instead. From turtle, generally your two options are front chokes and back takes. A scramble ensues and I get that chest to back connection. I don't have my hooks in, but I attack the neck anyways. My left foot hooking on the calf acts as a makeshift hook. Watch again, I break his grip and that's when I capitalize and put all the effort into getting deeper under the neck. This is one of my best rear naked choke setups, doing it right off the grip break. Kieran dives back in, but this time does a great job denying me grips and putting me flat on my back. I get a bit lazy for a second, but now it's time to get back to work, so I shrimp out and insert a low knee shield. I try to pull him forward to take an overhook, but it's not happening, so I try working the other side of his body for a Kimura, but I can't quite get it, so I do kind of a hip bump sweep instead, where I block his knee and shin from posting, using my left arm. It may look like Kieran can take my back right now, but his right leg is stuck between my legs, and my hips are blocking him from bringing his hips behind mine. Here I just need to free myself of Kieran's upper body control. I do and try to finish with a knee tap, but can't quite get him over. So instead I go back to that back take from earlier. I only really have my top hook in. The bottom hook is just kind of hanging on by a thread, and the bottom hook is the most important hook out of the two. So I bring Kieran to the other side so my top hook becomes my bottom hook. Hooking the leg from the outside is just as good as the top hook in my opinion, but the best of all options is a body lock, it provides the best control. I start to lose chest to back connection, so I transition to chest to chest connection in the form of mount. Kieran tries to bridge and roll, but I keep a death grip on his legs to prevent him from shrimping out. Taking an underhook to try to escape mount like Kieran is doing can work, he would just need to get his hips out to the side and get his hips higher than mine. I try to get an plata because I think it'll look cool, even though I'm not in the perfect position to do so, and I'm not sure if it's going to work. And it doesn't work, because I couldn't get my left hamstring deep on his armpit, and Kieran does a great job getting out of it. I take double underhooks and force Kieran's frames to the side, his legs. Kieran escapes and there's not much time left. I'm not going to let the round finish with him doing something good instead of me, so immediately I do a quick over underpass, controlling his hips before transitioning to his head. After watching this roll back after, I noticed how bad I needed a haircut, so in our gi roll the next day I made sure to look fresh. Let me know if you want to see the gi roll too, and if you're excited to see more rolls with Kieran as the years go by, we'll see how he improves and adjusts. Alright, thanks for sticking around until the end of the video, if you're still here please leave a comment or a fist bump and I'll see you guys next time.